Shimano SLX with the variable braking system. Shimano Casitas with the SVS Infinity braking system. We're going to get to that in a minute. I've had a lot of questions in the comment sections of my fishing videos and tackle videos is to kind of tell the people about the variable braking system. And this is, of course, like I said, the Shimano SLX. It is the 7.2 high gear. And the variable braking system along with the Hagani were two of the main features of this reel. Now you're going to notice that if you look on the bottom, it's going to say open and close. This is an escape hatch. Now what an escape hatch is, it is when the side plate of the reel is connected to the body and it does not come off. You will see a spring and a couple pieces. And in that variable braking system, you have six pins. Let's take the spool out and look at it. Now the last time I had this, I was throwing a half ounce lipless crankbait and a bigger diving crankbait. And you will notice that the brake settings that I did have, I had one brake on and I had five off. Hey Reggie, oh. check this out. I only have one brake turned on. Up and down is moving, five is off. Yeah, it requires some thumbing. It's really light settings. Now that was a far cast, especially for 10 pound fluorocarbon. So basically when the brake is on, it will be in the down position. And that is going to move on the cast and apply braking depending on how many of the brakes you have set. Makes sense. When the brakes are in the up position, that means the brakes are off. Nothing is going to happen. So if let's say I didn't like this setting or it wasn't working for me because it just because it is the variable braking system, like, like I keep saying, there is no outside adjustment dial like there is on the casitas. So if that didn't work and I wanted to have another brake turned on, you now have two on because they're moving, four off. So literally all you do is you adjust the pins to where you think they need to be based on the bait weight, the rod, the line you're using, and of course wind and other things. Now I have noticed that with the variable braking system that I personally feel like I can turn down the VBS system farther than I can the SVS Infinity. Now you will notice on some of the older Shimano reels that the variable braking system, it had six of the red pins. It was kind of like, it almost looked like a red pin with a piece of metal in it. And those were not replaced. Well, they switched it to white because, well, those are also not replaced, but they found that the white pins are better, they last longer, they have better durability. Now, if that still does not make sense, let's take a look at the Casitas. This is a 6 3 to 1, and instead of the escape hatch, you have a removable side plate. So again, you're going to open it, like so, turn it down, take it like that. Now, why is it SVS Infinity? Well, why is it Advanced SVS Infinity, which I will get to in a minute? Because you have four brakes, but it's Advanced SVS Infinity because on the removable side plate, you have the outside adjustment dial, which goes from 1 to 6, okay? So on the older SVS Infinity reels, you had four red shoes or pins with an adjustment dial. But the red shoes that they used to have on the reels before they switched to white, you had to replace. They would get worn, they would get black. You could clean them a few times, but you'll notice that in the older boxes that you had a replacement set of pins because like I said, they didn't last forever. So then what Shimano did with the Casitas, the Metanium, the Anteras, the Cronark MGL, and probably some others that I'm forgetting to mention, is they change it to white. Now, why did they change it to white? Well, that is because white is more, the, the white pins are more durable, you don't have to replace them, and they have found something in the system that just makes it work better. So again, two on, two off is where I like to have it, and then I will adjust my outside of dial accordingly. Of course, again, based on the weight of the bait, the rod, the reel, the line, the wind, all that stuff. Now, another interesting thing that I found is that, like I said, I feel like I can turn the variable braking system down farther. 
Now, now why? Because let's say you have a crankbait or a Texas rig tied on and you have two on, two off. Well, if you take that outside adjustment dial and you turn it down to one or two, usually that that's going to be good. I mean, you can take it down to one break if you're using a heavier bait or no breaks. But again, that outside adjustment dial on that advanced SVS Infinity system is key. Now, because the video is going to be titled the variable braking system, I have to talk about that more. Um, back to this system. Like I said, I mean, for $100, can you really beat it? I mean, there's other brands that have reels at that price that I know you guys like, which is okay. But for $100, and which what used to be $100, which is now $80, these are both two really good options. Now, the biggest thing that I've found, like I said, is the outside adjustment dial versus no outside adjustment dial. When I am adjusting this SLX with the variable braking system, I am going to, of course, adjust the spool tension. I like to have a light spool tension. I'm going to adjust the brakes and you get no outside dial. But for the $100 price range, I've found that that works very well, like I keep saying. Now on these reels, I'm going to have usually one brake. I'm going to have one brake more than I would with the variable and just adjust the outside adjustment dial. Now another thing that's cool too is with like reels like the Metanium, the Anteras, the Cronarch MGL, I found that because the way the reel is set up and the braking system and all the features on the reel, those higher end reels, I feel like you can have three brakes on one off or two on two off. And like this, just adjust the outside adjustment dial and you'll be good to go. Um, now, another thing too is on the older variable braking system, I'm not saying it was worse than the current one. They were still good. They worked great. A lot of people love them. I still have reels with that, but this six pin variable braking system, uh, it, it's very good. And it's a good feature to put into a reel with this price point. I mean, you get that, you get the spool, well, of course, the Hagani body. I mean, like I always say, I'm not sponsored by Shimano, not paid by them. These are the reels I've been using for a long, long time, okay? Now, with this variable braking system and this SLX, people have asked me, what do I fish the most with it? That is usually a crankbait something like a Strike King 5XD or a Poly DT6, a 10 foot crankbait or a half ounce lipless crankbait. That is what I, that is one of the things that I will do, excuse me. Another thing that I will use this reel for because it is a high gear is a jig, a Texas rig, a tube. And some of you might be wondering because I said at the beginning, well, it's a seven, two to one. So why would I use a high gear reel for a crankbait or a lipless crankbait? Well, if you look at the inches per turn, okay, if you have a six, three to one, you have 26 inches per turn. That is lower. That is a lower gear that is slower. It is going to handle the torque and the bill of the bait better. Now on the SLX, you have 29 inches per turn. Yes, that is a high gear. Yes, that is higher. But again, it's not 30. I can fish a bottom bait on this. I can fish a crankbait, a whole bunch of things. I mean, do I think it's the best reel out there for $100? I don't want to say the best. But it is very good, in my opinion. Uh, would I recommend this reel or this Casitas to someone? Especially because I've used anywhere from an $80 Shimano to a $650 Shimano? Yes, I would. So I just kind of wanted to tell you guys the difference and things that I've experienced with the variable system, excuse me, variable braking system versus the advanced SVS Infinity. And of course, the more you spend on a Shimano, the more features you get in the reel, but do you need those? No, you do not. So I need you guys to do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. What is your guys' favorite casting reel? You know, I know a lot of you guys like Shimano. A lot of you guys like Luz, Daiwa. Uh, like I keep saying, like I'll always say, I will not switch from Shimano. This is my brand. This is what I love. If you have any comments, questions, thoughts, or anything, let me know in the section below. And I do have a couple fishing videos that I just haven't posted yet. Uh, I've got monster bass coming up. I've got some more trips coming up, fall fishing, just kind of taking it easy. Um, I mean, I'm two videos away from 100 from January to now. Yes, I am just rambling. Bear with me. But you'll notice if you go down into this into the description, you will see where I linked 10 of my favorite videos. So if you guys want to check some of those out, go ahead. And if you think there's anything I didn't answer or say, let me know in the comments. 